Red Rocker Sammy Hagar here. I'm at my uh, recording facility. Um, it's called the Foot Locker when Chickenfoot's in here, and it's called the Red Rocker Studios when the Wobbles are in here. But we write, record, rehearse, party here, hang out, have a lot of fun, and uh, that's kind of what we're doing today. And I'm playing through my Black Star. Woo! This thing rocks. It kills. <laughs> Introduction to Black Star Amps was from Vic Johnson, my guitar player in the Wobbles. And Vic, uh, he, he's, he's an equipment freak. He, he goes to all the NAMM shows and he plays through everything. And he calls me up from down there one year and he's going, dude, I'm telling you, man, I'm playing through this amp. You got to hear this thing. He's, going, he's just going off and off and off on me. And I'm going, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't care about amps. Just bring me one up here and I'll plug into it. And if I like it, I'll play it. That's, that's kind of the way I've always been as a guitar player. I'm not like Joe Santriani and Vic Johnson and, you know, most great guitar players are searching for their sound constantly. And I, I just plug into things, hey, it sounds pretty good. And what I base a sound off of is how it allows me to play. If it makes me play, I feel like I can play better with that sound then I like that sound. It isn't like me hearing that sound. So, ooh, I like that sound. Because sometimes I, I, have a, I like a cleaner sound and I can't play as good through it. So Black Star gives me like all this versatility, you know, with one pedal, just one on off, I get overdrive for solos and a nice clean sound for rhythm. And not, nothing's real clean when I play it, but you know, relatively clean. And uh, it just, it's so warm. And it's got so much headroom. Uh, I love it. So it's probably the first time in a long time that I plugged into an amp that I could, that a lot makes me play better. You know, lets me play. I feel good and loose, and the sound is inspiring. That's for me. It's all you got. That's why I'm playing it. I like the series one. Some people like amps with five rows of volume and all this stuff, you know, me, I, I, I'm simple, man. I don't want a whole bunch of stuff because it's too complicated. And the Series 1 is just really, it just really got it all. And 100 watts is perfect. I play loud on stage, you know, and you might say 100 watts, that's all I use, but I have it cranked. And I really, I don't use ear monitors. I like to hear, I use floor monitors, old style, big side fills. I like to hear the whole band loud and powerful. It, it drives me and it makes me sing better and perform better. And uh, this is perfect, you know, couple 412s and, uh, and I'm, I'm good to go. The difference t between this Blackstar 100 series and some of the other products that are on the market and some of the more uh, pro popular amps over the years in the, in the hard rock, music that I play, and I play through everything. I have, I have every amp there is on the planet. But is what this does to me, it just sounds warm. It's got claws, but it's not offensive. It's not, ah, you know. And uh, the, just something about the headroom on the high end to where when you go up to the high note, it doesn't lose anything. A lot of amps sound really good in the mid-range, you know, for guitar, and uh, are the bottoms too flabby. Uh, that's what happens to me to a lot of uh, amps to get this big flabby, but this got a real nice tight bottom, kind of like the way you like my, well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo, are we having any fun yet? Yeah, it's just, it's just got the nice top, the nice mids, the nice bottoms, all in balance. It's not all spiky and in different rooms. One of the most important things about this amp for me is on, in different halls, it still sounds the same to me. I, I just, you know, if I go up near it, it sounds like every night I plug in, I don't have to go back, oh man, it ain't sounding right, you know. Uh, sounds checks are not my favorite thing to do. And I've never walked out and went, wow, what happened to my amp? Something else I really like, you know, it, the it features aren't my, my deal. Like I said, I don't use a pedal board. I, I don't use wireless. I use a cord, hard cord, straight into the amp. And I just have one button, like I said, where I want a cleaner sound. But the cool thing about the overdrive on this is that when you are playing it and you turn your volume back, it cleans up, you know? And, and it's like, you know, you got this. You know, clean, thick. 
Yeah, like I said, Vic Johnson introduced me to Blackstar. He's at NAMM show, and he calls me up. He's all jacked up about this amp, and, and he brings one back with him. And I walk in here into my studio, and Mr. Vic Johnson here, I call him Vic Right Hand Johnson. I call him Vic Butterman Johnson. Wait, Vic, Vic, he's got a lot of handles for me. But, uh, and I walk in, he's, and I'm going, whoa, he's going, yeah, and he just keeps looking at me, and he keeps turning the volume down, and he plays this other lick, and then he, he was just messing with my brain really bad, so of course I'm saying, hey, hey, come on, man, let me plug into that thing, you know, and uh, he turned me on to it, and, you know, Vic's in love with these amps, and I am too, but uh, he's the guy, he, he said at the NAMM show, when he plugged into this, he just stopped, he's going, dude, I've been sitting here for hours, you know, he calls me from the booth. He's trying to play it over the phone. I'm going, no, 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 Vic, hold on here. I'm actually working on a new song right now. I'm thinking about next year doing a, a four generations of rock album and tour to where I, I want to get songs from every one of my eras, you know, from Montrose, from Van Halen, from before Van Halen, from after Van Halen to the, you know, to, to the Wabos. And, and I'm writing this lifestyle song right now called All We Need Is An Island. And uh, I'm kind of, I demoed it out. I, I'm in love with this song right now, but uh, it's, who knows when it's going to come out. But I thought um, if I get a four generations of rock album, I'd like to write a Montrose-esque song, like a rock candy, real simple grinding, you know, simple guitar lick, a big drum sound. So one, write a song from that era, a new one. I'd like to write a song from the Van Halen era, where my head was at then. I would like to write a song from... Uh, with like like a, a chicken foot kind of thing, get a bunch of musicians that, that I think are like top in their field, which is chicken foot, and, and record I want a song like that. And then the, where my head's at right now, which is the island. It's all about, for me, I just love living life in a warm climate, islands, Mexico, the ambience, the food, the drink, all that. That's where I live. That's where my head's at. And that's where my restaurant chains are going. That's where everything's going, my rum. Uh, so I want to write a song that's kind of like about that. See, my fans with the Wobbles, here's my whole system. I throw a party. I bring the beverage, <laughs> I bring the music, I bring the band, and we party. And they pay for that. And they have the time of their life. I have the time of my life. I employ my band with the money. And I give most of it away to charity. So it's like, together, we have a great time. We do what we want to do. This is what the redheads and the wobbles are what we're all about. And we feed kids and, and help families that are having a tough time in, in towns that we play in and towns that I have my restaurants. And that's my new system in life. It's like, I get to do what I want to do. I don't need the money. So I need some money to pay my band and everybody and to pay my crew. And the fans get to come. They get to have a good time. We party, we drink, and we help people. Don't get any better than that. And we play Black Star Amps. <laughs>